Now I'm thinking about turning my hips. I'm not thinking about loading them up so much, just turning my hips. If I think about turning my hips in, see how I get that rotation. That's the hardest part to learn, okay? things about learning how to throw somebody is how to turn your hips in front of them and get your back to them. Okay, I mean that's, that is a really, that's, a, that's an obstacle a lot of people have to overcome. That's why a lot of foot sweeps and, and then like those Sotagari things like that, they're easier to learn. And they work great, they're great throws, but people get a stumbling block when they have to turn their back and turn somebody to throw them over their body. So let's look on the hardest part is turning the hips and then by turning the hips you'll be able to turn your shoulders. And and a good one to start that I think to help really reinforce and actually to teach how to get good hip rotation is Ippon Serenagi. I just believe in that. Now, you can go Koshi Drum and other stuff, but Ippon Serenagi allows me to work my hips and shoulders together when I'm in, in a forward rotational type movement here. With this. So let's watch. So I'm going to say that the basic director, or the Kubikata, I should say. And all I want to do is practice popping them up. And when I do that, I want to lock. And now I'm thinking about turning my hips. I'm not thinking about loading them up so much, just turning my hips. If I think about turning my hips in, see how I get that rotation. That's the hardest part to learn, okay? Now, different people approach it differently. They'll say, okay, come across here and step in, like a suricomi action, lifting, pulling action. Or they'll say, do a box step. Those are all good, they, they, they work. But what they're trying to achieve, and what I'm trying to achieve with you guys here, is to teach you to turn your hips, and when you turn your hips, you turn your shoulders. And I get you, so, so if you were to just come in here like this, see how I'm turning this, I'm not even holding on, but see how my hips have turned, my shoulders have turned. So they're, they're, they're connected. See that? So that's what we're trying to achieve, and that's, that's difficult for new guys to develop that skill. That's why you have to do lots and lots of Uchikomi, Lots and lots of throws. It just takes a lot of practice. So here's a good grip. It's the basic. And I don't do a lot of stationary uchikomi where it's just standing uchikomi. We do a lot of moving uchikomi, as you know. But sometimes you need to work standing uchikomi. A lot of people do standing uchikomi. But what we're going to do here is it's kind of like going to the target range and target practice. You know, you know, he's not moving, and he's letting me do some really good movements here. So. Each one's going to pop in, turn, like that. Pop in, turn. What am I working on? Hip rotation, which means shoulder rotation. I don't need to worry about getting really low and squatting under them and all that stuff. No, don't do that. What I want, if I, if I want to do a good, efficient, over the body type throw, pop in, rotation. The hip rotation is the key thing, not squatting low. And watch, on a nice tall Eric here. He's just going to come in and fit in. See that? You see hip, hip? Nice hip rotation every time. He's not worried about squatting low. He's not even worried about picking him up. He just wants to turn in. Okay, let's do it really slow this time. Come, now do it again. When he comes in, watch his hips and his shoulders. So his hip leads and his shoulder is right. So my right shoulder is right, right over my right hip. See that? And it just keeps nice getting rotations. So when you're doing that, okay, pop them up, lock, but just turn. Don't even, you don't have to worry how you turn, just turn your feet. See how I turn my feet? My knees to the left, my butt to the right, I'm total rotation here. You know, I, I, I'm 6'4", and I, if I try to throw them this way, squatting really low, I'm not going to do it. got a rotation and I think this is the most efficient way to do a, a turning forward throw. You can do the same thing like if you start doing a like a harai goshi or something you're still turning you see the shoulders there and your harai goshi uchimata anything but you got to get that hip and shoulder rotation does it does that make sense where they're connected okay we talked about we just talked about hip rotation shoulder rotation okay there's the old saying you know where your where your head goes your body follows unless it's true here Now I'm thinking about 
where does my head go? So, so when I when I rotate when I rotate my hips and shoulders, my head's going to turn as well. Okay, I don't, I don't look down. I know I don't look away. So when I pop them up and come in, watch look at what my head's doing like this. Okay, so I'm looking in that direction. So I'm using the the turning that by turning my head it helps rotate my hips and shoulders more, and also it. You know, some weight of my head turning like that helps in the torque of the throw. Okay? So when I'm coming in, I pop him up, turn him like that. Don't look down, because if I look down, I'm going to throw him down. Okay, if I look over the shoulder, I'm going to throw him over my back. So now I'm throwing over the back, I'm throwing over the, the body throw. Okay? So that's what I want to do. So finish the, the drill. So we'll, we'll finish a few more with Jacoby here. But when you're doing this time, when you're popping in, coming in, turn the head. Okay? Notice the knees to the left, butt to the right, and a nice warm. My head's looking over the side. It's just like when you're, th when you're actually throwing somebody, it's like you're chopping wood. I don't know how many of you guys chop wood. Okay. You, you, yeah. Really? Well, we're here in Kansas. We do that. It gets cold here. Okay? So, yeah, we do chop wood here. But you got the idea. You know what I mean. Okay? So you, that's, that's the finish when you finish them. So when you're actually coming in and throwing the finish. But what we're looking for here is you turn the head rotation. Okay, so the hips, the shoulders, and the head all work together to rotate the body to throw them over, you know, over my back, over my backside. Okay, and this is the, the classic thing you got to know about when you're throwing it over the body. This is very difficult for new guys to learn. So, you know, face it, just get practice it a lot of times. That's why we do uchikomi fitting practice because it helps you learn to turn your hips and your shoulders and head. You know, rotationally, if they work together as a, as a unit. That's why we do a lot of what you come in. It's a good pot, good upright posture, good upright posture. You can't start bent over. You gotta have your hips close enough. Okay. Now when he comes in and he comes in and turns, boom, let's turn our suit. Can you guys see from over here? When he's coming in, he's got that full hip rotation, shoulder rotation, his head is everything's locked in there correct.